Hey, what's up guys? Everyone keep asking the same question. Albert, can the base model M4 iMac really edit videos? Or is it just a beautiful decoration on your desk? Today, we are going to find out with real proof, not just Apple marketing dreams. Because this isn't a sponsored video. Trust me, if Apple ever sponsored me, you guys will know. I'll be smiling differently. My name is Albert and my team and I edit videos using this base model M4 iMac. Yes. The base model, the one other tech reviewers tell you never to buy. I bought three of them. Let's get into it. So this right here is my purple M4 iMac. The base model with 16 gigs of RAM and 256 SSD. And believe it or not, this little machine has been working like it's trying to get promoted. We use Premiere Pro, After Effects, and the whole Adobe family. And honestly, it handles 4K footage very well, almost like it doesn't know it's a base model. Launching Premiere Pro is smooth. Launching After Effects is even smoother. We added a 24-inch ASOS monitor on the side to increase screen real estate because editing on a small screen feels like trying to cook in a small kitchen. You can do it, but you bump into things. The only downside is that the base model comes with just two ports. Just two. Apple said you shall not multitask. So we plug in our SSD on one port and the monitor on the other port. Let me show you how it's actually like to edit on this base model M4 iMac. I've been using this M4 iMac personally and also this is my editor's desk. That is what we use to edit most of our videos on this channel. And I'm going to tell you how experience is like. We use Premiere Pro, After Effects and all that Adobe Creative Cloud versions. So right here, I have the silver one and using this for video editing, you don't really experience a lot of issues because probably we edit only 4K for the footages. Launching the app is snappy. So this is Premiere Pro. And one of the things that we have done to help you know, improve our productivity is to get an external monitor, which is a 24 inch ASOS Pro Arts monitor that we use. So we can help increase the screen real estate. So you see the app is launched right now with no time and we use a Sandex SSD, plug it at the back. The only disadvantage with the base model is that you only have two ports at the back. So one port for our monitor and one port for the SD card, the one terabyte SD card we edit our footages from. So it's been doing really, really, really well in terms of editing our footages. And the render time, it's always fast. The screen colors are really amazing. So far, I've had no complaints with this iMac. Let me just import some 4K footages inside and uh, drop in some graphic templates and adjustment layers just for you to see how this feels like. So I have some 4K footages from the camera I'm recording from on this. I'm going to plug it in. So this is how it actually feels editing on this. Let's drop some 4K footages inside. So I have a lot of 4K footages. Yeah, so this is like 11 minute or almost 12 minute 4K footage in here. And we've been doing this most of the time. Let's play through it and see if there's going to be any lag. Yeah, I don't see any lag. It doesn't lag. Of course, I've not applied any effect to it. So let's go to the graphic template and let me drag in this text template I downloaded from a battle element. All right, so it's playing. I see a little bit of, you know, lag there. Let me add more. Let me add a subscribe. Animation. So this is how we've been using this normal editing, cutting, ripple deleting. That's what my editor has been using this machine to do and it's really been helping us do a lot. We post one video a day on our channel and it's all with the help of this base level M4 iMac. So you see here, I've thrown in some graphic templates I done from Battle Element and it's able to do that surprisingly well. Let me just drop an adjustment layer on top of it. So 
So lometric color auto correct. Let's do some lower. Okay, let's increase the exposure, increase the contrast. So these are just, just some random stuff that I'm just doing, just to you know add some veneer to it. So with all this applied to it, let's try exporting it and see how long it takes to export it. So hit export. Okay, so it's 19 minutes, 26 seconds. That is estimated time now. So what we normally do is we just send it to encoder and encoder will export it at the background. It's not the fastest, but at least it gets the job done. So it definitely can edit 4K videos really well. It's just that when it comes to exporting the videos, it might take a little bit of time. If you're editing 4K footages and you have a lot of uh, transition applied to it. So that is my review of this M4 iMac. I hope this video answered your question. I just felt like, let me make this video for somebody out there who is thinking about buying this M4 iMac for video editing. So after months of daily use, this thing handles 4K video editing. It handles graphics, and it also renders at a reasonable speed. It looks gorgeous on the desk, and it has never screamed, please stop editing. Honestly, the only thing missing is extra ports and maybe a little more GPU power. But for the price, this thing really tries its best. Like a student who didn't revise but still want to pass the exams. So if you're thinking about getting the base model M4 iMac or even the 10 core GPU one for video editing, it can absolutely get the job done. If you want something more powerful, then go with the Mac Mini because that comes with a 10 core GPU and you can get a better monitor for that as well. But if you want an only one that looks good on your decks, edit for and doesn't complain, this is a great option. I hope this video has helped you out. If it did, please hit the like button. It tells the YouTube algorithm that I'm not wasting my time making reviews like this. And also subscribe because I reply to every comment like, it's my part-time job. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.